And now on to maximizing what everyone really cares about, which is profit. So in this example, um, following my dreams, I'm running a Frisbee factory, and I have fixed costs of $2,000 and variable costs of $3 per Frisbee. Now, there's this funny thing about market research showing uh, that we have a linear demand function, and it's going to give me two points here. It tells me a price of $5 gives me 20,000 Frisbees, a price of $10 results in 10,000 Frisbees. And so the first part of this problem asks for these things, but why is it even asking for this? Let's kind of skip ahead a little bit. What's the real thing we care about here? And the real thing we care about is how many Frisbees should I produce to maximize my profits? And so what's the big picture we're going to be using here? The big picture is we want to just write an equation for profit, and that equation is the same one we always use. Profit is equal to revenue minus cost. And we need to figure out what revenue is, we need to figure out what cost is, and to do that, we're going to need to figure out all these things. So this part A is just kind of leading you to what we really care about, which is maximizing my profits. So let's start by finding the demand function. And now the demand function is a function that relates quantity and price. And since it's linear, we know it's going to fit in the form y minus y0 equals m times x minus x0. Now, really you could make either one of these p and q, but the demand function is p in terms of q. So I'm going to make this p minus p0. p has to be my output with my demand function. And then we will have m times q minus q0. So my point from my point slope form could be either of this 5, 20,000 or the 10, 10,000. I will choose the 5, 20,000. So I'll have P minus 5 equal to M times Q minus 20,000. Now, when we figure out our M, let's remember that M is difference in outputs divided by difference in inputs. So it's delta P divided by delta Q. And then from that, we'll just use our two points here. So our delta P will be 10 minus 5, or $5 and our delta Q will be 10,000 minus 20,000, or negative 10,000. So we plug this into our calculator and simplify it, and we will get that P is equal to negative 1 over 2,000 Q plus 15. And since this is a demand function, it does have to be like this. It does have to be P uh, in terms of Q. So that's the first part of our problem. And this is actually the hardest part. The next parts are a little bit easier. So the cost, it tells us we have fixed cost of 2000 variable cost of $3 per Frisbee. So our cost will be 2000 plus 3Q. And that's the same Q that we had over here. Now for profit, we'll have revenue minus cost. Right Now what's revenue? Revenue is price times quantity and then that's still minus cost. So our price here is just P or sorry our price is not P. Our, we want this um, to be in terms of Q. So our price we have to use in terms of Q and we'll come back over here. So rather than price I'm gonna drop in this thing inside parentheses because that's actually equal to my price. So my profit in terms of Q Rather than price, I'm going to write this thing, negative 1 over 2,000 Q plus 15, and that's times Q, and then I have minus my cost, and I'll keep my cost in parentheses here, so 2,000 plus 3Q. So what I have here is a function where I can tell it how many Frisbees I produce, and it'll tell me what my profit is for producing that many Frisbees. Now back to part B, what I really care about, how many Frisbees should I produce to maximize my profit? Well, uh, up here I've kind of figured out, I figured out my equation, I figured out the negative 1 over 2000 Q squared plus 15 Q minus 2000 minus 3 Q. I'm just uh, being careful with all my negatives and parentheses there. And this will simplify a little bit more to negative 1 over 2,000 Q squared plus 12 Q minus 2,000. Great. So where do I go from here? So since I want to maximize profit, this is a function that's actually going to look something like this. 
And since I want to maximize profit, I, I want to find the point where the horizontal, where, where the tangent line is horizontal. And so to do that, I will find P prime of Q and set it equal to zero. Because this is the only point where my derivative is zero, that maximum. Right? So P prime of Q is going to be negative 1 over 1,000 Q. That's what happens when you multiply 2 by negative 1 over 2,000 plus 12. Now setting that equal to 0, negative 1 over 1,000 Q plus 12 gives me that Q should be 12,000. Now if you didn't know that this was what the shape of your thing was like, or even if you do, you should really be doing the first or second derivative test to verify that this is in fact a maximum. So to do that, you would check a point to the left of 12,000. You could go really far to the left. You could say something like 0. And that would tell you that P prime of Q, if you plugged in a 0 in for Q, is a positive number. If you plugged in a number bigger than 12,000, you can go as big as you want, say like a billion. You know that negative 1 over 1,000 times a billion plus 12. Well, this is going to be a huge negative number, not a very big positive number there, so this is going to be negative. And that tells you that indeed this is a max. So this is the number of Frisbees that I should produce to maximize my profit. Now, if you wanted to find the, uh, the actual profit, you would come back and plug this in to your profit equation. But the problem didn't ask us to do that. We've practiced that in some other ones. But the big idea here was I wanted to maximize my profit. So I wrote out my profit function uh, by finding the things that I needed here, this demand function, the cost function, and the revenue function. And I was able to maximize by taking the derivative and setting it equal to zero.